are the top seven products to drop ship in March 2020 and onwards. What's going on guys? Yash here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope everyone is absolutely having a great day. If you guys are on my channel for the first time, welcome. My name is Yash. Just to give you a little bit of a background of myself, I've been into the e-commerce dropshipping game for a little over two and a half years now. Since then, I was you know, able to build and scale multiple online successful dropshipping stores. I also run and operate a digital marketing agency called Straight Line Media here in New York City. You know, I've gotten into affiliate marketing. I've gotten into you know, building my personal brand along with consulting and coaching and other streams of income as well. So over the past two and a half years, you know, I've definitely been grateful in terms of the opportunities that dropshipping has you know, brought across my board and you know the networks and you know kind of the relationships that I was able to form as well so that's who I am welcome to my channel if you guys do have more questions definitely join my free Facebook group it's called Ecom Masterminds I will be leaving a link in the description to that along with all of my other social media platforms and if you guys can also drop a like on this video that'd be greatly appreciated and also subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell if you already have not I would gladly gladly appreciate that a ton I cannot thank you guys enough for that so guys today we will be obviously looking at seven proven products to drop ship in 2020 and onwards now I say proven because I personally went ahead and found these seven products okay I've done my product research I've done my product validation I've done my due diligence behind all seven of these products and I can say that they have massive potential to start selling and to start really generating that revenue from March 2020 and onwards. These products are also evergreen as well, meaning you can sell them almost throughout the year. They're not so much seasonal, okay? So if you guys wanna actually learn how I do my product research and validation, I will leave a link right there to my success blueprint. It will be basically me, be me walking through my entire blueprint in terms of how I find these products and kind of what criteria to follow behind each of these successful winning products as well. So definitely do check out that blueprint right there. I think it's very beneficial, you know, especially if you're still struggling with that whole concept of, you know, what makes a good product and why, you know, what are the components behind it. So that blueprint will definitely help you guys. So again, uh, check that out. So guys, let's move on to the first product. The first product is a mini portable air conditioner, okay? And also, I'm using AliExpress for all seven of these products, assuming that, you know, most of you guys are supplying out of here, you know, just for the purpose of this video. More than likely, if you're a beginner, if you're just starting out, you know, you probably are still sticking to AliExpress, okay? And most of these products do have United States as a uh, supplier country, so, you know, you shouldn't be too worried, okay? So, again, all these products can be found on AliExpress. So like I said, you know, with the summer months just kind of kicking in, you know, this is definitely a great product to start selling right now, kind of get before the season. Again, uh, most of these products are seasonal or they are, sorry, or they're evergreen, meaning you can really sell them throughout the year. Um, you know, so whether you have an office or a dorm room, you know, your college kid or your home apartment, really this can be, you know, used anywhere. And it's also very, very broadly targetable as well okay so just kind of take a little bit of a deeper scope into this product we have our mini portable air conditioner your cost price will be about twenty dollars and ninety six cents give or take you can easily sell this product for two to three X more um, in terms of store type meaning what kind of store would work well and what would support this product um, would be a micro branded one product store I focus a lot on micro branding one product drop shipping meaning you know having a one product store um, and kind of basing that product around the brand basically okay that's what micro branding one product stores are and they work really really well that's something more and more I'm focusing on as you know we go throughout the months um, it just really gives a professional and branded look to your product and ensures that trust to the customer okay so I don't want to get into one product dropshipping too much but I do have a video revealing uh, my six figure one product dropshipping store it's actually a Valentine's Day store that was just a month or two old um, you know, because we are in March right now. So um, I will be leaving a link to that right here where you can actually, you know, see what components go into a one product store and why my store was so successful. So you can definitely apply that same framework, 
same framework and those same strategies to you know all of these products as well if you go ahead and make a one product store <clears throat> if you do have a niche or niche store or want to start a niche store um, you know you can have it around home improvement or kind of home gadgets as well okay I don't like to use the word gadgets but you know basically what I mean right basically stuff that can, that can be used uh, you know for your home you know not outside products gender both male and females can be targetable for something like this you know it's not really gender biased um, everyone needs to stay cool everyone likes a little you know a little small air conditioner for themselves um, some potential interests now these interests are some interests you can start out in terms of Facebook marketing you know in terms of reaching your cold audiences so some interests are now guys these are exact interests you can actually plug in okay to each individual ad set so <clears throat> Some interests you can start out with are home appliances, IKEA, Whirlpool Co uh, Corporation, which is a huge company, uh, Lowe's, um, also kind of new homeowners as well, right? People who are just moving in or people who have just moved, you know, maybe they may need an air conditioner, okay, uh, for their actual space. So really dig deep when it comes to interest in terms of what is the right audience or who is the right person for this particular product. Our next product is basically an eye massager, okay? These are basically devices that you kind of wear on your eye and they have kind of infrared reading, um, you know, to kind of alleviate kind of a bunch of issues that you're kind of going through with, okay? So again, this is a very nice product. Um, it has really nice pictures, I think, on AliExpress as well. Um, this is more of a problem-solving product. So just kind of going back and taking a deeper dive into this one, this eye massager cost price is forty four forty, um, and I think if you do ship it from the U S. Yep, for forty. Like I said, guys, most of these products do have a U S. supplier, so you know that's definitely a pro. Um, you can easily sell it for three to four x more if you actually, you know, make it apparent what the value in the product is, what the end result is. Most problem solving products you kind of really want to focus on the end result more okay again store type micro branded one product store would do really really well especially because it's more of a mid to high ticket product um, if you have a niche or niche store however you say it by the way or want to start one uh, some stores that would do really well or kind of would embody it would be massage and healing uh, health and wellness and um, also self-improvement as well okay gender male and female there's really no typical kind of more bias for this product some potential interest that you can use to you know start testing on facebook uh to reach that cold audience um it's relaxation technique self-care hand in stone which is a big uh company uh cosmetology and you can also kind of target professions as well that's why i have beauty therapists right here okay sometimes you will get mass orders as well if you target a profession you know maybe you're a beauty therapist or you own a kind of beauty salon and you want a whole bunch of these or you know maybe you have a side business as a beauty therapist okay so really think outside the box all of these interests are a combination of different things you know demographics uh, companies brands magazines so they're really a combination of different interests and I did do my due diligence so again these are all kind of plug-in ready to play interests that you can actually use uh, you know when setting up your Facebook ad sets our third product what we have is kind of an infrared night scope um, again the weather is getting better you know more and more people are gonna go camping and hunt and hunting especially now this does not mean that I support hunting in any way, guys. Okay, I'm just kind of strictly looking at, at a product perspective and how well it will do in the market, okay? So what this product basically is, it's like basically a scope that lets you kind of, you know, target whatever you're targeting towards. You can put it on top of your rifle or gun or whatever kind of device you really, really have. Okay, so again, um, they have great pictures, I think. I personally like this picture a lot. I think it looks very, very branded. Um, so again, this is a great product that it's also evergreen as well and a product that you won't be kind of really finding at any kind of retail store. Okay. It's very, very unique in terms of what it does and how it's structured. So with this product, the infrared scope, your cost price is about $60 or $59.99. You can easily sell it for two to four X more. Um, you can again, easily sell it on a micro branded one product store, um, in terms of niche or niche 
uh, an outdoor store would work really, really well, more specifically in the camping, hiking, or hunting kind of niche. Gender, I would say male or female, but I would only stick to male just because of the nature of the product. More male typically do go hunting and camping and are, and are kind of interested in, you know, kind of shooting and um, kind of things of that nature. Okay, so I would just say start by targeting males. And some potential interests are Hunt Vault, which is a company, uh, Michael Waddell, which is an outdoors guy, enthusiast. Uh, Under Armour Hunt, Discovery Channel, and John Deere as well. So again, don't forget these interests are a whole compilation of different things. You know, you shouldn't be only focusing on straight brands or straight interests. You know, you can um, focus on TV shows, te television personalities, celebrities, brands, companies, magazines, books, a whole bunch of things. Okay, so again, I've done some pretty good research on these interests. And, um, you know, these five are kind of great to start out with as well. <clears throat> Our fifth product is a do-it-yourself mini electric engraving pen okay so this pen basically is an engraver you can literally engrave on anything you really want let's say you have like a mug or like a wooden picture frame you can re literally engrave whatever you want um, these things are great for people who are artistic and who are creative and I saw this kind of um, you know item really doesn't come in the market too often so it's a great opportunity to kind of hop on it as well so um, in terms of this pen, guys, do-it-yourself electric engraving pen, the cost price is very cheap, $1.38. You can easily sell it for 7 to 12x more than what it's costing you. Okay, um, store type, again, micro-branded one product store, niche, uh, maybe art, decor, do-it-yourself store, any one of those would really work well with this product. Excuse me, in terms of gender, male and female, I would assume, more females would be buying this because it's more of like a creative product. Again, just tapping into the nature of this product. But I would still not assume for something like this, I would target male and female. It's not gender biased. Potential interest, handmade things, do it yourself in crafts or DIY in crafts, Barnes and Nobles, design sketching, uh, and portrait painting as well. Those are some great interests to start out with for this specific product. And guys, our product right here, I think I skipped that one, which I do apologize, is our tactical shovel, okay? So this shovel is a multifunctional shovel, basically, okay? Um, you can use it as a shovel, um, as a cutter, a saw, a screwdriver, a self-defense stick, a whistle, um, a scraping fish, bottle opener, really a whole bunch of things. So what you really want to focus on this product are the features and benefits, okay? How is this shovel so different than all of your other tactical shovel, shovels out there, okay? So not so much of the end result, but more of kind of the features and benefits. This is a problem solving product, yes, but it's also like a convenience and passion product as well, okay? So they have a bunch of different variants right here. You can see um, in size, so this is 67 inches, this is um, 76 inches, this is 92. Uh, inches and this is 108 inches. I apologize, centimeters, okay? Um, so it kind of comes with different extensions. Um, those extensions you can also upsell as well. So that's another thing you guys can actually do with the product like this, but I think it's something that's pretty cool, especially for those outdoor enthusiasts, okay? So for this tactical shovel, cost price is 2867 to 3925 because of the different sizes of the shovel. Um, you can easily sell it for two to four X more. A great store type with this for this product would be again a micro branded one product store, um, a niche store in the outdoor space or a general niche which is outdoors and within that like camping, hiking, um, hunting and whatnot. Gender I would say again just male because of the nature of the product. Okay, it's more kind of aggressive. It's more towards kind of that outdoors kind of um, you know, self protectment kind of space, okay? Uh, potential interest would be RV camping, uh, Molly Freak, which is a company, Backwoods Life, which is a TV show, um, Josh Robertson, which is another outdoors person or enthusiast, and also outdoors recreation as well. And guys, moving on, sixth product is this spiral garden drill bit or bits. Okay, so again, you can ship from the U.S. And what it basically is, is again, as the weather is getting better, more and more people will start to garden. Um, so this is a problem solving and a conveniency product. So you really, really want to focus on the features and benefits. 
and the end result of the product as well how this makes it so so easier to plant your flowers as efficiently as possible okay so obviously the drill is not included the main thing about this product is the bit right here okay and they have different sizes right here 4x45 you know 8x25 so obviously they vary in price the bigger and broader the bit is the more it actually is what you can also do a great idea is you can actually bundle some of these bits so let's say 1 8 times 25 1 8 times 30 and 1 4 times 22 for like $25.99 okay so bundling is also a great option for some of these uh, bits and I know this product will definitely pick up in the coming month because we are getting towards those warmer days now and more and more people will start to garden and who doesn't want to invest in a nice gardening tool for their gardens and make it look beautiful okay so spiral garden drill bits or bit you know if you're selling multiple um, or one doesn't really matter cost price would be six twelve to twelve dollars and sixteen cents anywhere in between depending on the variant you're selling you can also sell one but I would definitely suggest having more or selling more it just gives people more of an option and it can also increase your AOV average order value by selling more for example kind of packaging them together okay that's a good idea um, you can easily sell each bit for two to three X more. Um, store type, I would say definitely a outdoors gardening or home improvement store. I wouldn't say a, a kind of one product store for this one just because of the nature of the product. It's not kind of so much wow that you kind of just devote a one product store towards this product. It's not kind of encompassing that wow factor too much. Um, okay, it's more kind of subtle. Okay, so. Um, gender, I would say male and female, both would be equal. Some other potential interests um, would be Country Life, Gardener's World, which is a magazine, House and Garden, Home Depot, Garden, Gardening Know How, which is I think a famous blog or like a famous magazine or something like that. So again, it's great to start selling as well. And this is something that's pretty evergreen as well, depending on you know where people are living, it will sell throughout the year. And our last product is this flexible ice gel cushioning pad. Um, this has multiple, multiple factors, you know, um, back problems, or basically it can aid with back problems. It can serve as a good car seat cushioning, leisure. Uh, again, this is a problem solving product. You know, people are ready to invest into their bodies, ready to invest for their health, no matter what. If you are in the space for some time, you would probably remember that back posture corrector why it did so well because it was kind of you know solving a certain problem that people suffer from so people won't think twice to invest into themselves so you can kind of really come up with a good marketing angle for this one and as long as you know you're doing everything right it will really sell okay so it's very simple but you know you really have to focus on why this gel pad is so different than the other other gel pads okay and really talk about the features and benefits and the end result as well okay it's like why do people you know buy such expensive mattresses because of the end result right better sleep quality less back pain and whatnot um, so anyway you can sell this product for two to four X more uh, definitely definitely a micro branded one product store um, and why I said no guys for this store or for this product is because it's more of an accessory. It's not a whole product itself. It's more of an accessory to, for another product, okay, like an actual drill. That's why I said no for this uh, particular product in order to have a one product store, okay. It would just be a little bit harder to actually put together and have everything lined up. Um, some niche stores that would do well are self-improvement, massage, healing, health and wellness, um, again, both male and female would buy something like this, something that can both genders can really benefit from. Uh, some potential interests are therapeutic massage and body work, spas, self-care, stone massage, and Lurico, or Luraco, which is a huge uh, kind of company that manufactures like heating pads and massage chairs and stuff like that. So again, that's something that you can use for potential um, interest as well. So guys, those are your seven products to drop to start drop shipping from March 2020. Again, I did my due diligence, I did my research and validation for you guys, so I'm giving these products for you. You have some of the components in terms of what would be a good uh, cost price, what would be a good selling price, what kind of interests, um, and really the reasoning behind or really the logic behind each product. I know I couldn't really cover 
are going to details for each product, but I really try to cover as much possible. Um, they really give kind of a overall scope. That's why I also kind of, you know, um, mention some of those interests that you can also utilize when running Facebook ads. Um, so with that being said, guys, I really hope this helped. Go and implement action. Sell one or test one or all of these products. I can, I think we really have six-figure potential really all of them if you market and do it the right way so with that being said guys thank you guys so much i hope this really inspired you to go ahead and test and make some money don't wait around don't wait for other people to get you know behind these products i can almost guarantee in three to six months from now all these products will be blown up and they will be doing massive numbers so again all these products do or does have six well six figure potential it's really kind of what you do with it and the effort you put behind each product okay if you guys do have any questions any thoughts any concerns please do drop them in the comment below i will really try to respond to as many people as possible other than that guys thank you so much thank you once again for tuning in and i will definitely see you guys soon peace